Hey all, and during this video I will be showing you the strategy we have been using for Magic Battlefield. After that I will go across to the Wing Soul feature over here and show you what I have been doing there. So this strategy is quite tricky to make work but really effective if you can do it. You either need to go in solo or go in with a stronger player. You need a skill that can hit all of the enemies quickly like Crimson Blades here. So you also need a player with a high hit stat as well. The enemies tend to dodge a lot and my hit stat is not that good if I'm being honest. I am working on it though. I see it as one of the important stats which is why with my refinements. Here you, go, you can see here they all have hits in them now. There's a mixture of other stats as well, but yeah, I've made sure each of them has some sort of hit stat as it's really important. So with two players, you want the stronger player to kill all the enemies and the weaker player should join in just after each enemy has been attacked. You want to try and do this as quickly as possible or with one player, just kill everything. You don't really want to do this with more than two players though, ideally as it becomes quite difficult to earn those orbs. I will show you the strategy with two players. A big thank you to Yabu Sam or Yabu for helping me with this. It is a pretty effective strategy and we did really well. So here we go. So there we go, you got to see that in action. We did actually earn a total of 44 orbs during this run or Souls of Sin and it was only on the normal difficulty so that gives you an idea of what you can earn from this if you do it correctly. So one thing to note is that you should only be killing either angels or devils. You shouldn't be mixing it up. You want to try and turn this either all dark or all light that should unlock some sort of skill here once you have all the bars 
either completely dark or completely light as far as I know. But yeah, this is what I've done here. Make sure you also click on the correct orb when upgrading as well. You can see I haven't got any of the light orbs. But yeah, that's pretty much what I've done and what I recommend doing anyway. So I think that about covers this video. I wanted to keep it relatively short and sweet just to show you all the strategy we have been using and hopefully you can all make this work for yourselves. If you did enjoy this video, please do give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Subscribing is always very much appreciated. I have included the previous video on the screen, plus a playlist, plus you can also subscribe from here if you want to do so. And thanks for watching.